all right hey guys so as you saw with the uh thumbnail and also the title of the video i am reviewing apotheosis for 1.19.2 and also showing what it is compatible with in this video it's not going to be a mm, in fully in-depth uh review but just a general review and stuff so starting off i'm going to show off the different structures so let's start off with the main tower which if you played this mod in one point Hang on, <laughs> I gotta teleport to it directly. Main tower. So, the main tower is uh, the original tower that spawns in 1.16.5. If you play this mod in that version, it has a trap. It has a trap chest, uh, a random affixed items, uh, some enchanted items, and some other random items. And if you go down here, you'll get different gems. I should have not done that. Fuck. You'll get random gems that have random uh, abilities on them. Unlike in the previous version of the mod where uh, you had uh, the books. You still have the tomes, but you don't have the books that go along with them. Like the mythic rare, common, uncommon, uh, and epic books. Let me get out of here. Go back. And then we have three variations of it. So first variation is we have the leaf tower, which spawns in jungle biomes. And if you go and look in here, of course, you have the same items. And then, of course, fuck. I need to collect these because I need to show off something else that is new. Far from perfect. Oh. Chipped. Okay. Might as well also grab this because there is something that I want to show off with this. Let me grab a smithing table. So with items that have affixes on them, there is a chance that they'll have an empty slot. As you can see below the plus 4.25 uh, protection pierce. So if I go over here, place this down, I can put a gem on it and then that slot is taken up and there's an item uh, this one the sigil of socking and the superior sigil of socking will increase the number of sockets that you can have um, how you get this is you need to infuse it in either a basic between basic and the max version of the enchanting table, uh, the enchantment setup. That's done with that. Um, so then we also have the sand tower. Teleport, please. Which I'm guessing, like the original tower, is trapped. Yep. And this one, ooh, we got a different one. See different, all this stuff. Spawns in desert biomes. And then we also have the spruce tower. Whoops. Which, from what I can see, is a very simple tower that does not have anything. I'm thinking this is not finished, for the most part. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's hidden. There's no trap or anything. Okay. So the... Spruce Tower is the safest. And then we have the boss rooms. We have a small boss room and a large boss room. The small boss room spawns in sizes of, of a normal uh, dungeon to something like this. Of course, hang on. 
Whenever you're in survival, it will spawn in the boss. You get random items, golden apple, a lot of d basic dungeon loot. So if I go back, and then we have the large boss room, which spawns in like this. And of course, you're more likely to get affixed items or gems. And let's see what this one spawns. Ah, there we go. So, on cam right now, I well, I'm going to explain how the spawning works for bosses that spawn in the world randomly. So, with um, the overworld right now, my, this camera is cut away, and you see what's on camera right now. So, the overworld, you have common, uncommon, and rare uh, uh, bosses. In the nether, you have rare and epic bosses and then variations of nether mobs that spawn with it and then in the end you have the uh rare and mythic bosses that spawn with variations of end mobs the phantom and the evoker and you see that all on cam you saw all of that on camera um so the next thing hang on We have the tomes, which have returned along with the prismatic cobweb and the chronicle of shadows, which the chronicle of shadows um, tells you every uh, everything. It is crafted with a gold ingot and a book. So you have the prismatic cobweb, which is prism shard surrounding cobweb, and you have the tome of others, which is a book and some books and some blaze rods, tome of helmets. So essentially, it's going to be books and blaze rod in whatever shape that you need them to be, excluding the Tome of Scraping, which is books surrounding an anvil. And then you have the Superior Tome of Scraping, which is infusion, uh, which you infuse the Tome of Scraping. And then you have the Tome of Extraction, which, as you can see, extract, fuck, which extracts all enchantments from an item and does not destroy the item, which you have infusion here. So the Arcana requirements, the Eterna is 22.5 out of 50. The uh, requirements is between 25% and at least 25% to 50% uh, Quanta and 35% Arcana for the superior Tome of Scraping. And the Tome of Extraction, you need <coughs> at least 25% uh, Quanta, 30 out of 50 um, enchanting power with Eterna and 45% Arcana, at least. So we have the different enchanting uh, stuff. So we have the Hell Shelf, which is made like this. Potion Regeneration, Blaze Rods, Nether Bricks. And then we have the whoops, Infused Shelf, which is <coughs> where you infuse it. And then you have the different crafting recipes for that. Blazing Hell Shelf, Enchanting Enchantment Library, Glowing Hell Shelf, and Shelf of Sights, which lets you see more um, enchanting stuff, like what more enchantments that you're going to get, which I am going to put on this so I can showcase this in a second. And then you have the sea shelf, which goes through the same process as um, the hell shelf, the dormant deep shelf, and then the, it goes through the same processes as the other ones. And then you have the end shelf, which is the best that you can get. And you have the draconic shelf, which gives you maximum eterna uh, if you use 10. And then if you use 12 of these, you get maximum Quanta and Arcana. And then you have different variations of the Bee Shelf, the Melon Shelf, the Stone Shelf. Uh, and then you have the Rectification stuff. Hi, Chief. Just showing off the recipes for that. And then, of course, these. Um, and then you have Enchantment Libraries, which hold enchantments for you. And then we have some items. 
So we have the inert trident, which if you infuse turns into an actual trident. You have the warp tendril, warden tendril, which you get from killing the warden, I guess. The ender lead, which uh, can hold most entities. Gem dust, which if I showcase this, you get from either crushing an anvil, with an anvil or salvaging in the uh, salvaging table. Got 13. Still in there. Cool. And then we also have a vial of arcana extraction, which using a smithing table can unsocket apothic gems. The item will be destroyed in the process. The vial of searing uh, expulsion. Uh, the unsocket apothic gems. The gems will be destroyed in the process. And then the vial of unnaming. Use a smithing table to remove the affix components from an item's name. And then we also have charms. So charms are crafted using blaze rods and any potion type. And then if you uh, infuse it with maximum quanta, 8.5 to 13% uh, quanta and 32.5 to 37.5% arcana, you get the unbreakable version of it. So if I go into Apotheosis, you see all the different versions. You have the short time limit one to the long time limit uh, version of each potion effect. And then we also have a rabbit's foot, ra lucky rabbit's foot, which is collected from by killing a rabbit. You get it by looting. This gives you the potion of luck, which can be used to create a potion of luck. And then we have different arrow types. The obsidian arrow crafted in the fletching table the broadhead arrow, the explosive arrow, the iron mining arrow, and the diamond mining arrow. And then here we have some affixed stuff. So we have common material, time warp fabric, mysterious scrap metal, time warp fabric, which is uncommon, luminous crystal shard, which is uh, rare, arcane sands, which is epic, and god forged pearl, which is mythic. And then we have the, uh, the blocks that are used to uh, aff add affixes to items. And uh, I'm going to show off what these, uh, what it does to each of these. So uh, we have the simple forge reforging table, which uses common, uncommon, and rare. And then we have the reforge table, which goes all the way up to mythic. And then we also have sigils of the sigil of socketing, which, like I showed off earlier, can socket an item. And then we have the superior sigil of socketing, which I also showed off earlier, which can add sockets to items. So if I grab both of these, which are from Project E, to show that it does have compatibility in some way. So if I put this in here, we have three versions. We have this version that adds uh, two sockets, two sockets, and one socket. So it'll be random each time. So if I do this, grab that that in as you can see i have one socket do this again you can do this an infinite amount of times to re-socket them but it does take gem dust if you are in survival i'm in creative so it doesn't matter and then um it also takes xp too so you need to have a good xp farm you need to have a good xp farm going there is an enchantment in the mod called hang on at apotheosis there is an enchantment called um knowledge of ages which helps uh which converts items in enemy drops into experience so that'll be useful so let's go with this one titan forged so see i now have a titan forged item I go into survival. Healing received. And I can add any kind of socket I want to it. And of course I showed off this. And then over here you can combine gems. Hang on. You can combine gems to get new gems. Uh, so let's look at this. So you need gem dust. 
any random two gems and whatever random material you get from breaking down of fixed items uh, in the uh, this block here, I already forgot, you can get uh, better versions of it, I guess. Better versions of that gem in the salvaging uh, table. So let me actually show this off. So as you can see, I'm getting one to four Godforge pearls. That's how you get all that. Let's try it again. Got three. Okay, so um, this is also to show that this is compatible with uh, the Enchanting Infuser mod. So let me go into Creative and let me grab a Netherite sword, two of them. So, as you can see, with 15 bookshelves, that is the maximum you can get with uh, basic bookshelves. You can only get 15 Eterna maximum. You get 15% uh, Quanta and 7.5% Eterna, but that's based off of the weapon. So. The enchanting is not perfect, but here we have 50 Eterna, 100 Quanta, and 97, technically, um, total Arcana. And because I have this item here, which shows different affixes, um, I'm going to get rare enchantments. And grab this real quick. If I go here, go here. So this is what it looks like when you have the basic bookshelves. It shows you enchanting power, 15 out of 50. That is the maximum enchanting power that you can get. As you can see, I can no longer upgrade knockback, even though it goes up to knockback 5, because my enchanting power is at 15. Smite can no longer be upgraded. Unbreaking can be upgraded to unbreaking 2, and I cannot see any more of the enchantments. But if I have a max out uh, thing with 10 of the per with 12 of move chief. With 12 of the pearlescent shelves and 10 of the draconic end shelves, well, with the 12 of the pearlescent end shelves and 10 of the draconic end, uh, end shelves, Chief, stop being a bother. Um, I can see every single enchantment that is available. And as you can see, 50 out of 50 enchanting power has been maxed out. And also, there is a chance that a wandering trader, when they spawn in, can give you an affixed item. That's not an affixed item. Give me an affixed item, please. <laughs> I'm going to spawn as many as I need to before I get my fixed item. Come on. Give me... Give it to me. Here we go. So from this, this you can get an affixed item. Hang on, I'm going to grab diamonds. And emeralds, and then you get in. Hey, come back, you little shit! Get back here. And as you see, purchase an affixed item from a wandering trader. So you can get them from a wandering trader. They're not all going to be epic or something like that. They're more likely going to be common to rare. So this is actually pretty cool that I got an epic one. It's actually really good too. Armor shred, crit damage, overheal. Which overheal? If you want to know, if I go into, gives you absorption hearts. That's what overheal does, which you get maxed out at ten. So, oh, did I get? Am I only maxing out at five? Yeah, I maxed out at five. If you're overheal. 
is past a certain point, um, you can go up to 10 absorption hearts. That's pretty much it for this mod showcase. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is actually coming out next Sunday as of when I'm recording this. So again, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.